Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to upload videos on YouTube. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you actually, uh, in this case, upload videos on YouTube. Well, uploading videos is fairly easy. I'll be giving you some things that you can do here and you need to remember in order for you to properly upload. Now, first thing you want to do here is you want to go to YouTube.com and you want to go ahead and log in into your account. Now, once in here, we need to go ahead and access our YouTube Studio. Now, at the top right of the screen, go ahead and click on your profile icon and you want to go ahead and click on YouTube Studio. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we need to go to our content at the left side here. Now, the content section here will display all the videos that I have here. But since we want to create or add a new video, let's go and click on create at the top right here and choose upload videos. Now, from here, you can go and click on select files and start searching for files that you want to upload on your YouTube account. But in this case, the great thing about YouTube Studio here is if you have a folder that is already open up here that you want, in this case, you want to upload your video, you can just basically go to that folder and just drag it into your YouTube uh, upload YouTube uh, pop up here. Now, once you click or drag it in here, it will start the upload process and you just need to wait for it to fully upload. Now, the first thing you notice here is at the bottom left, we have our uploading progress. Now, this might take a while depending on the length of your video, but after your video was uploaded, it's going to start processing it. Now, there are going to be some checks that YouTube do here to uh, verify some content uh, on your uh, on your video. So it might take a while. So in my case, it will process around 20 minutes. So usually I just upload or bulk upload videos here. If you have like multiple videos, you can just bulk upload multiple videos here and just let it run. Do the checks itself and just come back after a few minutes. But yeah, so in this case, uh, what are the things that we need to do here? Well, first thing you want to do is you want to fill out all the details. But as you can see, some of the sections here are already pre-filled uh, pre for me. So the great thing about YouTube here is it actually allows you to use uh, uh, specific templates for uploading. Now, if you don't know where to access this, you could actually exit this one, by the way. Uh, it's going to be automatic save as draft. So usually at the bottom left, you have your settings here. If you go to settings here and go to upload defaults, you could actually change what are going to be default settings whenever you upload something, which is something really nice here, especially if you don't want to copy a lot of text every time you upload something. So yeah, it saves you a lot of time. But let's go and go back into our uh, video here. So the first thing you want to do here is you could go ahead and update your title. Now, if you have a specific title in mind, you can go ahead and change this. But what I just usually do here is I just take the actual title of the video that I made. So for easy access, I already put the original title on the video itself. So it's a lot easier for me. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and fix some things here. So what I like doing here is I want to put every first letter of the word capitalized. So, so it may uh, kind of looks like a, a lot more professional. So I also like adding like dates if you want to uh, like specify which year it was created or which is the updated or most updated version of that specific video. And uh, yeah, so in this case, uh, what I also like doing here is updating the description. Now description is something really important here because in this case, this is actually part of like, think of uh, SEO. So this is one of the ways for you to uh, be known. So depending on what words you put here, you'll be, or you, your video might show up on different searches. So what I like doing here is I like to add like related tags to my title here, just to make sure that people will be able to find my video. So in this case, let's go ahead and add those titles here. Now, once you've added your titles or your tags, you can go ahead and go to thumbnails. Now, thumbnails here is a great for you to uh, basically add some flair on your videos. So if you see like major YouTube channels out there, they have like a specific or a very uh, customized thumbnail, like what we have on our previous, uh, previous videos here. So what I like doing here is I like creating my own thumbnails and I also want to uh, specify them on specific uh, categories, or in this case, I want to also name them on that specific uh, video. So I could just basically drag it in here, or you could click on upload file here. It, you should be able to open a folder here and search for your file, but I just like dragging it in here. It's a lot easier for me, but yeah. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and change a few things. Now also you need to choose your playlist here if you already have uh, something. Now in this case, if you don't, if you don't have like, if this is the first time you're uploading something, 
you could go and create your own playlist here and this is a great way for you to group specific topics together and it actually allows you uh you, or in this case allows your viewers to uh, see specific related topics they might want to check out as well so in my case i maybe want to search for something that is related to, to the video topic that i've just uh, recorded here and i want to choose uh, telegram here since the topic is from telegram let's go and click on done now by the way i created this uh playlist here myself so if you want again if you want to create your own go ahead and click on new playlist here yeah in this case i also want i like to click on show more here because they i have a lot more options i could do so uh, in this case, there are going to be some few questions here you need to answer. So in this case, I like answering the following questions. So do you any uh, do any of the following describe your content? So in this case, like for example, it makes real people appear to say or do something they didn't do, alter footage or just artistic looking scenes or any AI specific content. So I usually answer no here because I record the videos myself. And also we have automatic chapters here. Now, if you don't want to like add chapters, like when you see video, YouTube videos, they have like chapters or lines that you see on the videos. Those are called chapters. Now you could use the automatic chapters option here, but I like removing them uh, in my YouTube videos because I don't want to add them. But if you do want to use the automatic chapters here, you could go and use that. But by the way, if you want to add your chapters here manually you could just specify the actual time here like for example i'm going to say 0 0.00 to 0 uh, 25 is going to be the actual or in this case the uh, uh the part of the video for intro so yeah so in this case this is how you manually add your chapters but then again i don't like adding chapters here so i just let it be now, in this case, the next thing we want to do here is you want to go ahead and go to your tags. Now, tags here is, uh, is quite similar to our descriptions here. This actually enables us to uh, to appear on certain searches. So what I like doing here is I want to add like specific tags that is related to the topic itself so that people can search me. Now, the great thing about this one is you could actually add tags at least like 500 uh, words on it. So by the way, you need to separate your uh, tags here in commas. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and add our tags here. So here, yeah, I've just added some tags here. So let's go ahead and proceed to the next step. Now we have the publishing options here. So in this case, uh, you could disable a few things here. But what I like doing here is I like to just get already published through subscriptions feed and notify subscribers. So in this case, if you're posting a lot of videos, uh, like for example, you have you post multiple videos in a day, you could go and disable the publish to the description feed and notify subscribers. But if you only like post like once a week, you could enable this setting here. But depending on uh, how your audience actually reacts to this one, so if they want to be notified, you could go and enable this setting. But then again, I would like to I like to disable this one. But yeah, let's go and click on next. Next is we have monetization. Now, if your channel actually meets uh, the uh, requirements on your YouTube channel, you could actually earn from ads. Now, if you want to enable like ads into your video here, you could go and click on on and click on done to confirm that. And you should be able to start earning uh, from the ads that you get on your uh, video. Let's go and click on next. Now, we also have the ads uh, suitability. Now, in this case, if you fall under one of the following categories here, you need to answer truthfully here in order for your video to, to avoid for to avoid your video being flagged. Like for example, if that if it has like shocking content, you can go and specify that in here and see what is uh, best fitting to you. But if that's not a case and you don't fall under, you can go and click on none of the above at the bottom here and click on submit rating. Now, from here, you could go ahead and click on the next button and see the video element section. Now, video element section is a way for you to uh, basically add, like, for example, um, specific um, formats in your uh, videos. Like, for example, if you want to add end screen content, add subtitles, uh, tag products, or you can even add, like, playlists, suggested content on your uh, end like what you see on you usually on YouTube videos, this is where you actually do it. So there's actually specific, uh, there's actually a few customizations that you could do here. 
So just to give you some idea here, this is one of the videos that I've just recently uploaded. So in the add and end screen, uh, screen section here, you could go and click on import from video. And by the way, in order for you to add like end screens here, you need to have like at least or more than 25 seconds of video. But yeah, in this case, I have this one. So what I like doing here is I like to customize mine. Now you can choose one of the already existing uh, templates here, like one playlist, one subscribe, but I like importing from my customize option. So let's go and choose import from latest video. Now if you choose this, if you've already uploaded videos previously and you have a specific format that you want to use, you go ahead and start using that. My, my case, I want to choose the playlist here that I have and I want to choose my playlist that I want to use. Now, in this case, you go ahead and click on save. Now, if you want to add like specific elements, you go and click on element here. You can add like video, playlist, channel, or link, depending on what you need. Let's go ahead and click on save. Now, once you save that, you can go ahead and click on next here. Now, by the way, again, if you want to add like tag, if you want to tag products, add subtitles, add cards, you go ahead and do that. So this is where you customize your video. Now, checks here actually gives you the option to view if there are any copyright issues, add suitability, if there are going to be some problems. So again, if there are going to be some problems on your video, this is where you'll be able to see them. So that's why there's a whole process uh, thing that is happening right now when we upload something on the art channel. Let's go and click on next. Now, finally, we have our visibility. Now, depending on what you want to do here, you could choose one of the following uh, visibility. We have private, so only people you choose can actually see the video. Unlisted is going to be anyone with the video link can watch your video. And also, if you choose public, this will actually public or the video will be available to the public. So anyone can watch it. Now, also, if you want to set this as a premiere, if you want to schedule this, you go and click on set as premiere, insta uh, set as instant premiere. And uh, yeah, so also, if you want to schedule, you go and choose schedule here and choose a specific date that you want to basically publish or schedule this to go public. Now you could choose the time zone here. So yeah, so in this case, uh, you could go and uh, specify that. So I set as Premiere again if you want. But yeah, so in this case, if you're ready, you could go and click on publish here. It will start processing the video and you should now be able to see your videos online or in YouTube specifically. But in this case, that's about it. So. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.